Breaking, ISIS affiliate claims responsibility for attack on U.S. soldiers in Niger. An affiliate of ISIS in Africa has made the first official claim of responsibility in an attack that killed four U.S. soldiers in the country of Niger. U.S. intelligence had suspected that radical Islamic ISIS sympathizers were behind the attack, but this is the first claim of responsibility showing that an organized ISIS affiliate directed the attack. Staff SGTS Brian Black, Jeremiah Johnson and Dustin Wright and Sergeant Law David Johnson were killed when ISIS militants ambushed them in Niger on October 4. Law David Johnson's body was not immediately recovered but was later found bound and with injuries indicating he had been captured and executed. Dakar, Senegal, an Islamic State group offshoot is claiming it carried out the October attack in Niger that killed four U.S. soldiers and four Nigerian troops and sparked questions about U.S. military involvement in West Africa's vast Sahel region. The Mauritanian Waqshot News Agency reported Friday that Abu al-Walid al-Sarai with the self-professed is affiliate claimed responsibility for the October 4 ambush about 120 miles, 200 kilometers, north of Niger's capital, Niamey. The news agency has carried messages from the affiliate before, according to the site Intelligence Group, which monitors jihadist websites. The U. South Africa Command has been investigating the attack which also wounded two U.S. and eight Nigerian troops. A final report is expected to be released this month. A 12-member Army Special Forces unit was accompanying 30 Nigerian forces when they were attacked in a densely wooded area by as many as 50 militants traveling by vehicle and carrying small arms and rocket-propelled grenade launchers. The Pentagon has declined to release details about the commando team's exact mission. U.S. officials have said the joint U.S.-Niger patrol had been asked to assist a second American commando team hunting for a senior Islamic State group member. The team had been asked to go to a location where the insurgent had last been seen. After completing that mission, the troops stopped in a village to get food and water, then left. The U.S. military believes someone in the village may have tipped off the attackers. The U.S. has approximately 800 troops in Niger and U.S. Special Operations Forces have been working with Niger's forces in a growing effort in recent years, helping them to improve their abilities to fight extremists. Multiple military efforts exist against extremist groups, including Boko Haram and Al-Qaeda affiliates, that roam the vast Sahel, the sprawling, largely barren zone south of the Sahara Desert. The growing fight includes France's largest overseas military operation a United Nations peacekeeping mission in Mali and a five-nation regional force called the G5 Sahel that launched last year. Officials have pointed out the danger and difficulty of hunting down an enemy in region the size of Europe. The Mauritanian news agency also reported that the extremists claim responsibility for an attack Thursday on a French military convoy, and for a series of attacks in Niger and border areas with Mali and Burkina Faso. Faso.